Mavis? It's me. Some help. You need some help with your your trousers. Well, you're gonna you're standing on this leg. You see, I'm just gonna try and pull it up a little bit above your ankle. All right, now you can stand up. Okay. Oh, good for you. So, tell me all about yesterday. Was yesterday. Yeah, that was the day that you spent the morning in the hospital. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was okay. It was okay. Let's have a look. Oh, you've got cold hands. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pull it up too much. I just want to see. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. What are you doing with your hands? Well. <laughs> I have to find you another sock, don't I? Yeah. Yep. There's one here. I'm going to see if I can grab another one for you. Uh. Is this a pair? Uh. Yeah. Looks like the missing, the missing item. Good. I'm going to give you your pills and all the rest of it in a second, but seeing as you were wrestling with your pants, I figured I might as well help you finish you that little job off. Okay. I'm not quite done yet. All right, that's better. So you had your shower. Yep. Yep. Well, your friend Nicole, yeah. the nurse, she found me yesterday afternoon. Yeah, we had quite a long chat, actually. That's where she decided it would be better for you not to take your bandage off, but just to leave it. Yeah, but she's going to change it when she comes in. She's just worried about it getting infected. So today is Friday. Yep. I'm going to sit. Uh, I don't know if you're doing anything exciting today, other than waiting for Nicole. She's going to be changing your leg bandage. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to be going for my run. Yeah. yeah. But I'll be home by around 11. Done I'll be home by about 11. Having done it? Yes. What's this little note for me? Can you read that? June. Washing. Keep red stuff separate. Keep brown wool skirt separate. I don't know what it does, do you know? No, I don't know. Where's my white nighty? Where's your white nighty? Yes, I'm saying it's a hundred years. My best nighty. My nice nighty. I'm not sure where it might be. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. I think you got your wash back yesterday. Nonny got it out of the dryer for you. Yeah. yeah. Good. If you could start taking your uh, pills there, I will, I will continue with my 
duties, make the bed and stuff. I'm not sure if those sandals are going to be suitable. It looks as if you can easily kick them off. They might actually fall off you. I, what I'll do is I'll switch to the other ones. How about that? Just so that you don't lose your shoes. Are you planning to go down to breakfast today? See how you feel in a few minutes. No, I said, are you planning to go? Some of that business, the other last couple of days when you were feeling a little weird. Yeah. I think that was the Tylenol with codeine. I don't react very well to that particular medication either. I, it gives me palpitations. So that could explain a lot of how you were feeling so weird. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we're, we're not going to give you any more of those round ones. They were probably over-prescribed. Here's some more water for you. Okay. Yes, there was... Um... Some talk about that yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Well... You know, I, I really object to people giving medical advice when you're in the room and they're not talking to you, if you know what I mean. <laughs> as, as if you weren't even in the room and you're thinking... But is that me they're talking about? Is that me they're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I think Norni's probably pretty good at conveying the message to you. Here's your tooth. And you've still got a few little pills here to take. How did you sleep? Oh, pretty well, pretty well. I think that's probably... We've, we've, we've nipped it in the bud, so to speak. Taking you off the codeine is probably a good thing. For two reasons. You're less dizzy you're less likely to have those breathing spells when you can't breathe. And also, you're not going to be constipated. So that's the side, that's another of the side effects of codeine is... Yeah. Good. Well, obviously, we nipped it in the bud. Yep, you finished your pills, well done. Now, there are two pills that you are allowed to take. One is this long, thin one. Yeah. This one is pain through the day. Well, not pain, but lack of pain through the day. Yeah. There's one more little square thing, that little rock. Shall I take that? Yep. <laughs> Looks like it's doing me much. Well, that's because it's a powerful pill and they've cut it into a quarter. This red one you can take at night. All right, I'll put that in the bathroom. Okay. I'll put it in this little... Okay, yeah. You seem a lot more alert today. Yeah. yeah. Now, I was going to change your sandals to the other ones, the ones that don't fall off. I know they're here because I put them there. <laughs> you hide to get mine. Yeah. You certainly did get your bandage wet today. Yeah? Yeah, but that's... She did say that you could. <laughs> Rather than take it off and expose your wound to the world. Yes, yeah, yeah. She can fiddle around doing as she wants to. Well, the thing is that she did say that to try and keep it dry. She said, "Well, I didn't dangle it under the tap or anything." No, but uh, I can tell that it's a little bit wetter than she would imagine. Well, that's okay. She has to deal with the situation when she gets here. By yeah. which time, it might have dried off a little bit yeah. by itself. <laughs> Well, Nicole, she's obviously done nursing for quite a while. Yeah. 
Yeah. I asked her whether she liked going to different people's houses, and she said, oh yes, she did. Much more interesting than staying in one place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found it better to be on the road, yeah. more mobile. And the other thing about the other thing about being a little more mobile is that even if you'd had a well, less than pleasant experience with one particular person, once you left and yeah. closed the door, the that was the end of that. You moved on, turned the page. You don't have to worry about that client anymore because you're going to the next one. Yeah. It doesn't linger over you. Like if you were working in a in an institution, yeah. Yeah. you know, you'll have the same grumpy people yeah. all the time. <laughs> You'd end up not really liking your job because there's nothing about it. You c you always have to keep bumping into the same grumpy people. Pardon? Well, I know you like it that way. Just give it a few minutes while I make your bed. And that should be long enough. Then I'll be able to enjoy a cup with you. What was that, Mavis? If you go in there, could you see my chain with the little tennis racket I've got it there? Did it drop down? Oh, oh dear. Is it still in here? No, I got it out. You did? <laughs> it was the pen, yeah. but not your tennis racket thing. No. I got this one with the elephant. Mm, that's not that one, but that one will do. Uh, you sure? Yeah. All right. It's a bit fancy. Well, you can be fancy. You can have your elephant uh, logo going along here with the. Let's put your leg up on this. That's it. Okay, so your bed is ready for later. No, no, you don't go to bed now. But hopefully now that we've got your medication sorted out a little better, you shouldn't have too many of those dizzy spells that you were having the other day. Good. Yeah. Sounds great. <sighs> so the tea should just about be ready to drink now. Good. More of your little notes. Dear Carolyn, thank you for your timely note. It is so 
are true. If you don't write or communicate, no one is going to reply to you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Whose uh, note was that? Uh, I didn't write note to somebody else. Oh, I see. I haven't sent it yet. This one is from the Institute of Journalists in Ipswich, England. My grandparents, Mr. and Mrs. Springfield, were the head of that organization. And I went to stay on, on a hotel-like setting for many of my school holidays. Very posh and nice. At present, I seem to have very little future endeavours, but, but this suits me fine just now. Hope you're well and contented, love neighbour. So you're going to send that to your friend, eh? Yeah, I guess so. Is she living here, or do you have to mail it to her? <laughs> She's in Ipswich? I don't know. Anyway, so it's t t t uh, 7.49. And all is well.